welcome back, guys, to episode number 102 of Kirby Fighters 2. Yeah, you think we're just done with the game? Oh, no, 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 we're not done with this game yet. I don't say we're done with this game until we're finished with the game. But anyways, we're about to begin episode number eight, um, 102 of the series, since in the last episode, we finally managed to clear the final chapter of the game. We were finally able to beat King DVD and Meta Knight at their own game, and we finally managed to clear, of course, the final chapter, allowing us to unlock the final two stages, as well as unlocking King DVD in the process. Now, for this episode, I decided that I'm going to have a little bit of a solo battle testing out our homie for the very first time, given that I really want to play as King DVD for today's episode. So let's make this a bit of a reference to Star Allies. We'll get Mandana Wildy in here, we'll get Mennonite, and we'll give Kirby the artist ability, because why not? So we have Fountain of Dreams or Stage of Partners that we can choose from, which are the only two levels that we haven't really selected yet in regards to, well, choosing the main database of the uh, game, basically. Now, I think for this episode, let's actually do Fountain of Dreams for today's episode. I think this would be a good start for this one because I haven't used King DVD before, so, you know, this will be a good take on us. We'll do it. It's been ages since I played on Fountain of Dreams. The last time I played it was like in freaking uh, Kirby Fighters DX. It's been ages since we've been into this one. Hey, we don't keep. Can he even still throw his hammer like he usually can do? It doesn't look like it. Unless I'm tripping. You can steal the sucky up move. Can Kennedy seriously not throw his hammer like he did in the previous games? Full swing in the face! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, that that neck goes look really, really creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I've said that multiple times before, but it really does look creepy, okay? Bandana Wildy and uh, Gooey's at least look normal, but Midnight and Gooey's look hella creepy. I don't want to imagine how King Dedede's would look like. Now, because we completed um, the story mode of the game, let's actually head back to single-handed mode real quick. And the reason that we're going back here is all because of one reason. We completed this mode with every single ability and with almost all the dream characters except for King DDD on easy, normal, and hard difficulty. So for this episode, we're going to try and beat all three of the previous difficulties using King DDD and seeing if he can move his might against all three of them. So, for this first challenge, unsurprisingly enough, we're going to do this in easy difficulty for this first challenge. First up, the Novice Bomb. It's time to murder this with King DDD, man. I'm ready to murder this with King DDD. Because y'all know that Hammer's my ability. Hammer's been with me since the beginning, and we used in Hammer today. Let's do it, King DDD. Come on. That hit barely caught him, by the way. What in the world? Okay, whatever. We did manage to win the first battle, so I'll take it. 11 seconds is not bad, so... Next up is the Soft-Hearted Gooey. Oh, I forgot you could do the super jump with King DDD. Okay, good thing you gave me this tip. Beep, bomb. Yeah, I forgot you could do this with King DDD. I completely forgot. Good thing, good thing this game is teaching me the basics. How did that tiny hit get him? That should be able to get gooey because he was way on top of the floor or ceiling. Apparently it, it did get him for some reason. Okay, I'm not sure. Next up is the Bumbling Bell and the Dreaming Water. Thankfully these two are... While doing a giant DDD swing, link it to... D oh, you can still do the hammer throw? Hold on a second. Okay, you can still do the hammer throw in this game. Alright then. 
Good to know that it told me this. I was under the impression that King DDD cannot do that hammer throwing move like he did in the previous games, but you can actually. Okay. I thought that King DDD could not do that, but turns out you can. Okay, then sure. Next up is the Novice Beetle and the Pillowy Gooey. Alright, good thing it told me this. I thought for sure you could not do the hammer throwing attack, but I was moving wrong. I never saw King DDD doing that pose before. That's the first time I've seen him doing that. That's like extremely identical to the Anna and to the Amiibo pose. Seriously. Ouch! Okay, I kind of messed up my groove. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, instead of me killing him, the lava killed him. Sure, that makes all the sense, apparently. <laughs> okay, then, sure. Next up is the Young Water. When doing a super DDE ju jump, you can adjust... Okay, th that one I already know of, so... Alright, done there. Bye. Bye. Yo, how are these animations so clean, though? Boom! Bam! Boom! Boom! Bam! Full swing! Swing, um, combo, baby! <laughs> woo -wee! Yo, my man can't need to for blood. He ain't playing around this time. Next up is the fresh faced hammer and the pillowy hammer. Two hammers?! Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Okay. I did not expect them did not expect them to throw me two hammers right off the beginning. Okay then. Sure. Just throw me two hammers right off the bat. Apparently they did not damage them, which I don't understand, but okay then. Honestly it didn't matter anyway, because I did just an Oh thank you, Koo! I was about to finish the other guy off, but Koo actually finished him off for me. Thank you for that. Next up is the Half-Baked Bell and the Doughy Water. They gave me Bell and Water twice? Legit, they gave me twice. First in round three and then in round seven. Okay, that's rare. I didn't expect them to give me the same deal twice. That usually doesn't happen. Normally it's like something different in the next round, but okay then. Game a while to actually process that because King DDD kind of accidentally slowed down the game a bit. But darn, yo, my man King DDD not playing with his damage game, man. Holy. Next up is the fresh faced hammer, the refreshing wrestler, and the scared Magalore. So we gotta deal with another hammer, a wrestler, and Magalore. Okay, I see this game I'm trying to be playing smart with me. Okay, that's a new pose I never saw before, and that was badass. Alright, got rid of that wrestler, dude. Got rid of Mangalore as well. It didn't matter anyway, because I still won. <laughs> Yo, you can't mess with King DDD. King DDD is not playing with his damage game. Let's go, man. Finally, a Shadow Kirby with the hammer ability. Do -do 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 Alright, it's that time to battle against Shadow Kirby again. It's that time. So thankfully, my man knows what he's doing, so he ain't gonna be no slash with this boss. Come on, KDD, let's get him. Come on. Give me that tiny hit gun, by the way. But hey, I'll take it. I will take it. Not bad at all. 3086. I'll take it.
Yo, my man was killing it, man. Crazy. All right, guys. Well, that about does it for this episode. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad, I gotta say. We were able to beat the first joint with Team Unity, so overall, I'm impressed with myself, guys. I don't think overall, I didn't do too bad in that one. Though I'm a little bit curious as to what the next couple of difficulties are gonna, you know, present to us as we progress through the story. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been honestly tons of fun making this episode. I will see you guys next time when we come back for the next episode of Tackle Through some more of this game and Tackle Through single-handed mode again using the next character. I think we'll do single-handed matchup with maybe, um... Oh, wait, no, 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 what am I saying? We'll just, we're gonna do single-handed matchup again using Team Unity in the next difficulty. But I think first I'm gonna see if I can higher up my points a bit to have a bit more of a higher range to see what um, level 82 is about. But, um... Till next time, guys, I will see you guys later when we come back from the next episode. So, till next time, guys, bye.